राधारमण हरि बो बोलो राधारमण हरि बो We established Hindi Vidyapit in Nepal around 23, 24 years ago. I finished my master's degree and then we decided that we should start a school which can give modern education with ancient values. Then the organization called Matri Bhumi Sevak Sangh. It means the volunteers organization to serve the community. Took this wonderful initiation and the late Dr. B. L. Sreshtha took the responsibility as a chairperson for this movement and I was at that time only around 21 years old and then I was given the responsibility as a founding head teacher of Hindu Vidyabhada school. And this way we started this school with only 15 children. Our whole dream was that our children should get modern education so they should be able to compete and cooperate with this entire world but at the same time, they should be able to understand the ancient values, cultural values, and spread the good messages from Nepal for this modern world. The world has gone so uh, very fast and we are very behind. So through the education, only we can compete with the uh, world, I, I, I thought. In other schools, no one volunteers come from the world, but in our school, many volunteers come and teach us. That's the very good thing and very pleasure for us. We get direct education from them. We do not need to get education from books. The school is not only giving uh, bookish knowledge or like only education for our life, but it has also given us lots of morality, lots of values which is not going to be like applied only when we are a child. Uh, the most pleasing factor of my school is uh, it teaches uh, our own culture, traditions and our identity. Now we have three schools and we have 1400 children and more than 400 children are given a sponsorship. <laughs> We have students from different backgrounds. Some are very from very poor families. Back home, they don't have any support. Uh, they don't get any kind of environment where they can study well. And the parents have very simple work, working like servants in different factories, restaurants, and they are not well enough to support the children to go to the schools like in the Dapit. Without this sponsorship, I think I should have to go to in the government school and to have a, a bad, I think, not, to, at, and not bad, but uh, not good type of education in the government school. We have children from all sects. We have all ethnic communities. We have children from untouchable communities. We have children from Muslim, Hindu, Buddhist, Christians, all backgrounds. And you may not believe, the story of these sponsored children is terrifying. Jyoti and Savitri. These, these called Jyoti and Aarti, uh, they are from the Badi family. Uh, Badi, uh, is, Badi are the, is actually dancer, especially women are dancing in the ceremony, something like that. And the uh, father, they go fishing and something like that. But unfortunately, over the time, uh, some of the Badi family, they are, many of the Badi family people, they are involved in the pursuit and something like that. Their father has married someone else, which is not from Badi family, afterwards. He married again twice and he went to the India to work something and unfortunately their mom helped with someone else. She have another daughter which is quite old so from different husband so and she disappeared just uh, nobody knows where she is and these children are living with a uh, grandpa which is alcoholic very much like sleeping on the road and, and beating them. 
so they didn't get the food in time and they've been walking the streets. So I mean these people are struggling. Sometimes when I meet these children and I sit with them, when I listen to their stories, that makes me cry. How much poverty, how much social injustice, how unfortunate they are. These two are sponsored by the um, person called Bikas Thapaliya in is in America, is a Nepali person. They are sort of like one and a half uh, of their sponsored, so half of the um, their expenses, uh, I mean, taken by the episom itself. Um, we sponsor children, like you know, um, uh, there there are the many conditions. Is some children have got single parent and they can give something. At least they can provide their clothes uh, and uh, coming from home and uh, to go to home, the fare, uh, bus fare, those things they pay. In, in their cases, if someone gives us like you know 25 pounds per month, then uh, we can sponsor as a fully or. But someone do not have anything like you know, uh, we need to uh, give their bus fare also. We need to give all the clothes and um, everything, the medicine, everything. Then thirty pounds per month we sponsor children as a hostel here. I always think this is the my heaven, um, but I didn't know whether the children will also be like that much. One of the boy called Kharga Bahadur Bhandari, so in short we say Kharga. One day I asked him, he will be handicapped, he has got cerebral palsy. I said, Kharga, do you like to be here? He said, yes. What do you like here? What is the nice here? He said, nice and nice. So he, he said, nice and nice means everything is nice here. So that means children, they like very much. We are washing shoes. We are washing plates. <laughs> we are uh, washing dress. Another thing is in uh, six month time, it was very significantly, uh, you can tell the children are very happy. They've grown very much. They became very strong and giant. Like, you know, they've been very happy to work in the field. And um, that's why I think they're also liking that. Always ask, do you like here? Everyone says, yes, it is very nice to be here. When I bring the children here, I said everything to the children, what we are going to do there. So you happy with that, then let's go, otherwise we stay in cry. So they said, no, we grow the rest of us, we work in the field, and they promised me to make a heaven here. All the children are living here and I love them very much. I look after the children like my brother and sister. I give them love and they also give love. CPS give me a lot of uh, help in every step. I hope that it will be help in my future life and it make my life better and good. In Nepal, I don't think people have got a hundred percent, like you know, hundred percent sufficient job because we are the uh, farm based. Um, uh, Nepali people like you know whatever job we get we want uh, it won't be sub sufficient for every everything so if we have got a very small part of the land which we can grow like in you know, the vegetables and those things then we can survive very easily and uh, at the same time we can do the exercise also uh, children in Pisum they've been this this been they've been learning and they've been surviving with this food like you know another same thing is same time um, it's this type of spinaches if you buy in the market, they put lots of pesticides to grow much, lots of uh, fertil fertilizer to grow much. Whereas these are all organically grown, so they, for them also is very healthy. <laughs> I want to be a singer. I want to be a doctor. I want to be a police. I want to be a doctor. I want to be a doctor. I want to be a teacher. I want to be a teacher. Though in the beginning it was quite a difficult task, a very big challenge for us, but now we are quite established and many other private schools have understood that unless we address the values, culture, spirituality, holistic approach of education, so only education which can train the mind is not enough. There are lots of expectations. Um, some of the children, like you know, maybe one or two or maybe even more children, 
can lead this organization again in future, like, you know, whatever we are doing. Because um, I'm now 50, maybe another 10 years, maybe I will retire or something like that, or maybe I can't do any, anything that can happen. So uh, we need someone like, you know, a le leader for the next generation also. When I was born, there was lots of peace. Everyone were uh, very kind towards uh, people. But uh, now it's a uh, little bit, uh, un, uh, you know, unmanaged. I want to see all Nepali very educated, very good and prosperous life. I want to see a Nepal a peaceful country and I want to see a Nepal as developed country. I want it to be executed and uh, make Nepal a peaceful, better and a more competitive country in the next five to ten years. I want to see my previous Nepal. Uh, if, uh, if I can do uh, something for my Nepal, then I'll do obviously. We have a very big task, very big challenge, and, but we are very lucky, the support of the volunteers, support of our officers from England especially, and from other countries too, has given a great hope. In the future, we want to expand, have Hindi Vidyap in Nepal, in many places, have children's peace home, even in Kathmandu also, the branch of children's peace home in Kathmandu also. Similarly, we want to have many other programs it's like it's called children's study club it means like in america in europe i think it is called like uh, after school program two hours program homework club we want to run those kind of programs also and especially we want to make a special center for the girls so the girls education can be given a special focus so the girls can be kept in those hostels so these kinds of programs are in our pipeline and hope that we will succeed it because you have many good friends around us. Be the greatest man in history The greatest man that you can be with me just me through spirituality see so simple task has become such a great message think globally act locally but i say act locally and think globally serving humanity through community, serving humanity through spirituality. That has become successfully a, a dream has become such a beautiful truth that makes it. I'm very, very pleased having Brother Lagitsa <laughs> Chintamani because he's given whole his life for the uh, country and society. So he's my little brother, but he's still, um, he's sort of like our leader and our hero. So. This sweet love.